How many of you uh, follow Rodeo on a regular basis, watch the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo? High applause. Any fans of the Wright family from Utah here today? Cody's a two-time world champion. Spencer's a world champion. Jesse's a world champion. Who knows what the future holds? Amazing to watch those young Wright boys come along. They practice together, they work on that style. And I think their dad probably had a lot to do. Family is very important, and they're great athletes. There are 15 people go to the NFR, so over a third of them will be the Wrights. The name carries on, whether it be Cody or Spencer or Ryder. There's a whole herd of them. There's a lot of pairs of brothers or, or families, but not to the extent of what the right family is. No. You gotta be a cowboy first before you can be a rodeo cowboy. It's a desert, and so it's a high desert, so it gets colder and crap in the winter and hot in the summer. It's weird, but it's a good place to raise kids. I've always been involved in ranching in some form or another my whole, whole life. I think it kind of builds your character, you know, and makes you want to win. You know, it's a hard way of life. It's not a real lucrative way of life. You gotta have something in here that makes you, you know, wanna live that life. You learn how to work, you get a good work work ethic and and I'll tell you one thing, herding cows and pouring concrete sure makes you want to ride Bronx good. Family's everything. Where we are in rodeo right now we wouldn't be without family. My dad taking me and my mom taking me and taking care of us. My biggest hero is probably my brother Cody. Steady drip wears away the stone. I don't think too many people worked harder at it than him. There wasn't no rights. There wasn't, he was just a young kid that was trying to make a living riding Bronx. Well, I want to be like him, and, you know, the kind of man he is, I want to ride Bronx like he does. It like changed everybody, because they knew that if Cody could do it, they could do it. And so they were all young. And so they start dreaming big. He is such a great dad himself. And that's his number one thing, is family. If he had to give up the bronc riding, the ranching for his family, he would do it in a minute. I love that about this family. Um, we're all close and everybody's there when you need them. And just hope, hope, hope everything stays the same. <laughs> Being blessed with somebody that's uh, you know, supports me like a, she does. That's probably the highlight. Might not have known it then, but now I know it. How many years? Uh, 20 years. <laughs> I remember being in Great Falls, Montana, and they were in Dodge City, Kansas, 24 hours earlier getting on horses, and that's a 19-hour drive. I've probably been home a total of two weeks from March until the end of September. I was probably home two weeks. They're gone roughly 250 days, 230 days out of the year. So it's hard. They're gone a lot. And Oh, perfect ride. Everything's clear. Marking mark him out that first jump and he hits so hard he rips your feet out of there and you're beating him to the ground about a foot and everything's back and and 
there it really is one of the best feelings in the world it literally feels like you're sitting in a rocking chair and it's just rolling and your feet are just flying it's awesome it gets me going i get pumped up my free hand you know reached way back stretched out and you just let it all hang out uh, you're not afraid of being hurt i feel like you're in total control but you just might be out of control I don't know, it's just smooth. You can't really explain it unless you do it, really. Your timing has to be perfect for you to be sitting in that saddle and making that contact right. He makes it look easy, and it's not easy. You hear crowds hoop and holler the most when kind of there's almost kind of a wreck going on. The guy that's about bucked off, you know, he's up, got air between him and the saddle, and there's kind of bad things happen. That's what really looks exciting to people. Cody's had two broken legs. Broken ribs when they get squished all the time. I've, I've broke both tibias and fibias. Used to have rods in both legs. Broken foot. Broken ankle when he was well, in yeah, college. Broken ankle. I broke my ankle. Yeah, I did get a concussion. Clavicle, he broke his clavicle. Yeah, I broke his clavicle. Um, my shoulder come out in May. Broke my collarbone in January. I'm pretty sure he, got, he broke his back. Because he's like a bionic man, you know? He's had so much stuff done to him. Yeah, he, That's knocked, just one his teeth, he knocked his teeth oh, back. Oh, yeah, too. he had to have braces for a while. Damn, one thing after another. You know, I don't believe there's ever been a kid grow up in the United States of America at one time or another didn't want to be a cowboy. Just gets in your, it really does. It gets in your blood and you can't say no. The reason why I think America loves rodeo and they're so attracted to the Western way of life is because it's the last blue collar sport in America. If you don't perform, you don't get paid. If you don't win, the babies don't get fed. I've always dreamed of rodeoing with my brothers, and uh, I've dreamed about rodeoing with my dad, and it's just, I'm living a dream. It's just amazing. I don't know of any other sport, any other activity where there has been a family that has been so successful in one given event. Dad's always made us work at it. I, I don't know that we're any more talented than anybody else, but... When you look at the world standings and there's a whole bunch of rights on the list and you're the guy up at the top of the list, the bragging rights in that deal's got to be pretty good. We have, what, five rights and a brother-in-law? Going to be at the finals. Well, you know, I think it is one of the most amazing things that we've seen in the history of the NFR. This year, me and Rusty and Ryder, my two boys, will be going to the uh, Wrangler National Finals together. and. Uh, that's gonna make it pretty special for me and uh, hopefully them too. I don't know if anybody's ever competed at the NFR as a father having a son at the NFR. That's a feat. You know what, I'm gonna be a nervous son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>